Hi guys, this is Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you the inside and out of Alienware Alpha. This is the Intel i3 version, and we're going to be doing an autopsy on this Alienware and dissecting it and see what is upgradable and what is not. Alright, so it comes with some batteries for the Xbox remote. This is probably the receiver right here for the controller. Take this out. Here's your Xbox controller right here. Not too bad. And you put the, obviously put the batteries in here. Get this out. And here is your HDMI cable. Here is the power brick right here. This is, I guess, the drivers for the controller. And it doesn't look like there's any, there's no system recovery disk, probably because it's on the, partitioned on the hard drive maybe. And this thing is probably like the size of a Nintendo Wii. This is my hand. It's pretty small. All right, this one right here is running Windows 8 and it has an Intel i3 core. Take this off right here. And when you take that off right here, there's another hidden USB port right in there. I don't know if you can see that. So that's another USB port right in there. First thing we're gonna do is open it up and put in some RAM, memory. Alright, so right here, this is the hard drive. And this is how you take out the hard drive. Take out that one screw right here, put it to the side, and push that like that, downward. And this is how you take out the hard drive. And it looks like they give us a standard Western Digital, which is a good brand, 500 gigabytes, 5400 RPM is the speed. I wish it was a 7200 RPM, that would have been a little bit nicer. But later on down the road, I'm probably gonna recommend upgrading to a S thin SSD hard drive. It may be more expensive for the SSD hard drives, but they're so much faster. You're gonna save on average one to 15 seconds of load time and boot up everything. And it's more reliable and it just lasts longer, longevity. And the only thing left to do is you basically unscrew the side screws right here. Before upgrading your hard drive, it's important to download the factory image data on a USB stick. Only then you can upgrade your hard drive. I'm going to show you that later on, nine minutes into the video. We got the hard drive just like that. And then once you put the other one in, put it in like this. Make sure the ports are facing this way, like that. And just line up the holes. And then that's how you install the new hard drive. Really easy. Now flip it over from this point on. You can flip it over like that. And you can take out the top. And this thing is so easy to take apart. It's really fun to work on. This is the CPU. This is the GPU. You want to take off the CPU fan. Just squeeze that on the sides and pull right out. And right here, there's your RAM, right here. So here's the RAM slots. There's room for one more stick. Grab it by the edges. I usually don't touch the copper part. And this is very easy to install. You wanna put it in this way. And then you wanna push it in like that downward. And let it do its thing. Clip. You'll hear it clip on right here, latch on. Very easy. And then take it out. You just pull these and separate them and it pops right up.
See? And the CPU is actually removable. So if the CPU ever goes bad, you can switch it out, which is amazing. You can't do that on a PlayStation or Xbox. And the GPU is not upgradable, it's a hardwired to the motherboard. Right now, it's powered on, you can see the lights. Uh, when you turn it off, it goes black. It has two USB ports in the front right here, as you can see. It has a nice little LED light right there on the corner, giving it a little bit of a futuristic look. You could purchase this separately on eBay, and you put it right there to make it a little bit more Alienware-ish. It comes with the Xbox 360 receiver, you hold down this button to connect the remote. To sync the controller to the Alienware Alpha, you hold down the button right here, it starts blinking. Then you hold down this button, and then you press the sync button right here on top, and then it'll connect. The Alienware does not come with a keyboard and mouse. You can, however, navigate using the Xbox 360 controller. Um, so you turn it on, holding the center button, like I just said. Once it's synced, it stays synced. Um, to left click, hit A. To right click, hit B. You have to get this separate. Well, I really highly recommend getting something like this. This is the Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse pad. So you navigate it like that using your thumb and you left click like that. Really easy. Now this is the power brick that it comes with, which is kind of annoying, but I understand that it is a lot smaller because the power brick is separate from the main unit. So as you can see right here, the power cord goes right here and the LED light indicates that there's power live on the cable. Um, right here is the HDMI input, so if you want to record uh, you know, from the cable box, um, this is the HDMI out to your TV. Uh, right here is the optical audio output right there. And then over here I have my ethernet cable connected, my Cat5. And that is probably gonna be the fastest internet speed you're gonna get if you connect it hardwired. It does have Wi-Fi built in, but it's not really that great Wi-Fi, um, especially if it's only 50 feet away. Uh, right here is your SS USB. Um, you got two of them. One I'm using for my Logitech wireless keyboard, and the other one I'm using for the Xbox 360 receiver. And to turn it on, you just press the power button. It goes from orange to blue, and it comes up saying Alienware on the screen. Boot it up right here and it's in console mode as you can see and you can either use the keyboard or you can use the controller to navigate. It does have a little mouse cursor on the screen as you can see right here. So it, it's really convenient, it's really easy to use. Um, to switch back, only thing you have to do, to switch back you go on the bottom left and hit the power button on the bottom left and click on go to desktop. It's that easy. And this is the standard Windows 8 look. Here's the three softwares that it's actually preloaded. Steam, of course. Uh, you got Support Assistant, and you got Alien Respawn. Basically, this will create you your backup recovery disk. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. You click on that. It does not come with any kind of recovery disk. You have to create your own. All right, now what you wanna do is you wanna grab uh, 8 gig USB drive and make sure you format it and it has to be completely empty. We're going to take our USB that's formatted and we're going to plug it in the back and you should hear a tone. Alright, from this point on you can create your rescue disk right here and hit OK or your factory backup. Click on that, select the USB drive and then hit continue. You want to select the USB drive and continue to start. Uh, so here's the specs on this computer. Its operating system is Windows 8.1, 64-bit. The CPU is an i3 core, Intel Core, uh, running at 2.9 gigs. And the memory is 8 gig memory. I installed it. It was standard 4 gig installed. And then we upgraded it to another 4 gig, giving us 8 gigs total. It can support up to 16 gigs, which is nice. And it has a standard Western Digital hard drive, 500 gigs on that, running at 5,400 RPMs.
So it runs pretty well. Now if you want to change the colors on your unit, you go to settings right here, and then you want to go um, device settings, and go to alien FX. And right here, that triangle, I could change that to, let's say green, or purple, let's try like yellowish. And let's change the color of the alien button, the power button, also to green. recommend Alienware for everyone for gaming? No. If you're able to build your own custom PC, then do it. It's going to be way faster than the Alienware Alpha. But you can still upgrade the Alienware Alpha. You can upgrade the processor, you can upgrade the memory and the hard drive to an SSD, which is quicker. Now, most likely, you're not going to be able to copy the size of the Alienware Alpha, which is the main selling point of this unit. So the pros on the Alienware Alpha is the size. It's awesome. And another pro is that the Alienware Alpha is so easy to take apart and upgrade. Now the cons with Alienware Alpha is that it's a little bit pricey. It could be cheaper, cheaper than probably a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One if they wanted the price to drop. Now, if you already built a custom PC and just doesn't fit in your home theater system, then this is going to be right up your alley. So let me know if this video was informative. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more videos like this and share this video to anyone this video may interest. Later guys.